सो इन अप्रैल 2021 इलोन मस्क न्यूरल लिंक शूट मंकी प्लेइंग पोंग विथ माइंड एंड इन 2022 देयर वाज अ रिपोर्ट दैट सेड दैट थ्रू न्यूरल लिंक एट लीस्ट 1500 एनिमल्स हैव बीन किल्ड सो देयर इज अ वेरी हाई चांस दैट द मंकी वाज वन ऑफ देम सो इलोन मस्क इज इन द न्यूज अगेन after years of shifting the timeline for his brain implant and one chip for his company neuralink he has finally put a chip inside a human brain yeah, it did take him a lot of time to do that i think almost a decade with a bunch of F- fda rejections a lot of criticism from the researchers in the community and a few people who were building the technology along with him yeah. and i i think the, it took so much of time because and the envon chip it comes under class 3 of medical devices they oh. receive the highest level of scrutiny from fda but finally has pulled it off but for the i mean the it's so stringent for the right reasons yeah. i mean if there is going to be a piece of machine that's going to be connected to your human body directly and is going to affect how you function on your daily basis it mm-hmm. it does need to be scrutinized to that level yeah absolutely and uh, Musk is not the first one to uh, experiment with this technology. Uh, I mean, I think scientists have been exploring neuroscience for the past thirty years, forty years, and I mean, but ha- but what's new with Musk is that he has actually developed something like his company has actually developed something groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. Anything related to neuroscience or neural technology, it required a lot of wires, but to fit everything in that one small chip. Hmm. it's something revolutionary and he claims like the company claims to cure parkinsons and something that's uncurable a disease like epilepsy hmm. and depression and even obesity so see a technology becomes ground breaking or revolutionary when we actually see the impacts of it yeah. it's right now it's under trial for the next 5 year the person who's right now been implanted with is going to be under observation for the next 5 years yeah. so we can't expect it to be used anywhere else at least i'm i'm guessing for mm. at least 5 Even to 8 years the optimistic yes. margin it will take that and much. Uh, the second problem is now as you said most of the devices prior to this have been like on the exterior Why? of your mm. uh, physical part but now the chip is inside your brain so that rises the r- potential risks of data privacy over here i mean mm-hmm. at the end of the day the freedom of thought is what right now is different from whatever else the big tech yeah, the, or the cl- conglomerates yeah. in general i mean whatever you see on your phone used order drink eat anything they know what you're doing except yeah. like right now being inside your brain yeah privacy the issue of privacy will come much later the technology is at very nascent stage right now hmm. currently like the patient who is under trial he'll be observed as you said for next 5 years hmm. so even by optimistic margin if the technology is not going to come for next 7 8 years yeah the approach i believe is very correct like approaching the patient uh, for their uh, research for clinical trial hmm. the humans who are getting selected they are like um, suffering from paralysis or some sort of mental disorder so that approach is correct even during the trial if something like epilepsy can be cured hmm. it it is beyond anyone's imagination currently there's no cure for a disease like this it will your depression hmm. o- obesity and everything else that keeping that aside for a moment this But l- how like can we he that kept aside be- when because was, because huh. he is a great marketer for his product hmm. he is the face of the company hmm. he represents his companies be it tesla spacex or this neuralink yeah. so he has actually pushed the boundary like But at what even stage, with like even, even with in terms in, of neuralink okay yeah. like there were uh, like the uh, animals that this the technology was tested upon i think a dozen of them have died yeah, pigs and monkeys yes so i mean how are we not so they, looking they, at that picture no, either that is an ethical consideration but any new technology especially in field of medical hmm. it it there will be some effects possibly for next 7 8 years they are not ready for market they'll not be able to make a product that is ready for market would you implant a chip like that in your brain no if then if you know that a certain <laughs> that no. the, the uh, ideal vikram how it should be and the chip is going to solve all your problems are you going to put that in your brain even though you see, know the concerns that come with it see never say never but there can't be a global consensus on anything but 
some a technology like this should be appreciated and they they should be supported the issues can't be ignored they can't be an afterthought they can't be patched upon after the technology is given to the public and then okay we can fix this we can fix that no the no, these the the fda approval they have received an fda approval for human clinical trial hmm. and they have conducted their first human clinical trial so the getting to the fda approval itself is a big deal so i think now all we do is wait for another 5 years and watch where this goes